Welcome to the VMware Cloud on AWS Quick Start Series. Did you know that within a few hours you could be up and running with your own dedicated VMware Cloud on AWS Software Defined Data Center? I'm Eric Gray from VMware, and in this video, I'll show you how easy it is to create a new organization, invite a coworker, and set up payment details so you can easily get started with this hybrid cloud service that enables you to run your vSphere workloads on AWS infrastructure without modification. VMware Cloud on AWS provides dedicated vSphere-based infrastructure running in AWS data centers around the world. It's delivered as a service so you can deploy just the right amount of resources to meet your demand. There are a number of options available when it comes to paying for this cloud service. You can pay as you go, or you can commit to a minimum level of consumption for substantial cost savings. You can fund your account with credits, buy through a VMware partner, or even use a credit card. To begin your journey with VMware Cloud on AWS, go to cloud.vmware.com. If you'd like to get started quickly, you can buy online with a credit card. Otherwise, you can get in touch with VMware to learn about other payment options. If you already have a VMware ID, you can use it to log into VMware Cloud Services. Otherwise, you can easily create a new account. During the sign-up process, you can tell VMware about your company, the geographical location, as well as the size. This information will help VMware assign the correct account team to assist, if ever needed. If you're creating a new VMware account, Enter the business location and contact information that's requested on the sign-up form. You'll be asked to verify the email address that you provide, so please make sure you have access to it while completing this form. Once your new VMware account has been created, use it to sign into Cloud Services. If you've never used VMware Cloud Services before, then the next step is to create an organization. Later, you can invite other coworkers to be members of this organization, and you can assign different roles and permissions according to responsibility. Note that you can change the name of your organization later, if necessary. Using a credit card makes it easy to get started quickly. As your consumption grows, you may decide to fund your account through other means. Talk to your VMware account team to learn more. When you first log in to your VMware Cloud on AWS organization, there are no software-defined data centers or SDDCs present until you create one. If you ever have questions, click on the support tab to see links to helpful documentation or to chat with VMware support. If there are other users in your company that require access to VMware Cloud on AWS, you can invite them to join your organization. They can be regular members or owners, which also have the permission to invite additional users. One of the benefits of cloud computing is the ability to pay for services on demand. This flexibility is a good fit when requirements are unknown, such as in the case of a newly released application. But if resources are well understood, it's possible to achieve significant cost savings by committing to a one or three year term with a subscription. Keep in mind that both subscription and on-demand services can be used together. When you create a subscription, you'll choose the AWS region and number of hosts that meet your requirements. After that, you can decide on a one-year or three-year term and whether you will pay in monthly installments or in full for the largest possible discount. Now you've seen how easy it is to get started with VMware Cloud on AWS by creating a new VMware account, payment source, and organization to control access permissions. You also learned how to get a discount on the service by creating a subscription. In the next part of this series, you'll learn how to deploy your software-defined data center. Be sure to visit VMware Cloud Tech Zone for the latest VMware Cloud on AWS resources.